Welcome to each and every one of you, and thank you for joining us on this chilly afternoon to celebrate the groundbreaking of Fayette County Public Schools first middle school in almost 20 years. And we are extremely excited about the new middle school that will be opened here in August of 2025. As noted previously, it'll be the first new middle school by the time it opens uh, that we've opened here in Fayette County in 21 years. Uh, when you look at the, the architecture of the building, it is actually fashioned after a uh, uh, tobacco barn, so that's going to be kind of the theme of it. Uh, but we've even positioned the school uh, to where the majority of the windows are facing north and south so they can um, capitalize on the sunlight throughout the day for a lot of natural light. Uh, we're using geothermal wells uh, in order to uh, be as sustainable as possible. Uh, and we even have room on the metal uh, roof for uh, solar panels to be in, uh, installed later. I'm super excited about this new middle school out here in the Hamburg area, which as a city, this is where we are growing the fastest. So we know that families are moving out here and it's really needed. We value education here and we want to keep our learning levels high and these kids who come here are going to be so excited with this state-of-the-art school. So woohoo! Good job Fayette County Public Schools! We're growing at about 600 students per year which is the equivalent of an elementary school and we've been opening new elementary schools but as that population ages and grows we've really had a dearth of opportunity for the kids at the middle school range so this new beautiful state-of-the-art middle school is going to help alleviate so much of the crowding that we have here throughout Fayette County. We stand on ground that was once counted among the horse farms that define so much of this, this landscape, and that history has influenced the design of this building. Its design also looks to the future, providing space for collaborative learning spaces and implementing elements that strive toward a lessened environmental footprint. But as we know, a school community is not simply held together by bricks and mortar. It is connected by the relationships in our building, forged by our staff, many of whom are represented here today, our families, and our community partners who are also represented, all of whom make what happened in these buildings possible. And it is connected by learning ignited in the hearts and minds of our students.